Hey everybody, Psycho here again. Now today, I thought I would do a video on changing the oil in my Hyundai Tucson. This is the 1.6 liter turbo. Give you guys a quick look at the engine here. Uh, absolutely love this, and uh, it's good to take care of it. So uh, I think I got about 7,000 on it now since the last oil change, so it's getting that time. So I'm gonna be using some Valvoline 5W30. Now I'm not brand loyal or whatever. I go for whatever's the cheapest as long as it's full synthetic. This was $27 and I got a Motomaster filter. Um, not the brand I usually go for. I like Quaker Steak brand but of course they, uh, they were out of stock so I went with that. So $27 and $9. So we're going to be doing this well, about 40 bucks when it's all said and done. Uh, I've already taken a look at the spark plugs. They're pretty decent, though I'll probably change them. I assume they're probably the factory plugs. She has 130,000 on her now, so that needs to be done. Uh, here's something I do like about this car, the air filter. Pull that down, pull that, and pull out. Beautiful design. Should be changed pretty soon as well, but such a awesome design quick and simple So let's get at it All right, so there's the oil pan. It takes a 17 mil oh, I don't got enough room really to show you but let me get this draining and then we'll move to the next step So I'm gonna let that drain I'm gonna keep moving back my pan here so I don't spill none on my driveway and then when that's done I'll put the plug back in and we'll get that oil filter off all right so that's pretty well done the oil filter is right there and uh, I tighten these by hand but they seem to always go tighter get one of these if you don't have one of these um, a flathead screwdriver and then just kind of tap it around it'll come loose either way just put it like that give her a couple twists preferably not break free and beat the knuckles off you and just keep turning it till it goes loose just like that and I'm gonna wait because I'm gonna put the plug back in this and then I'm gonna bring the pan over here to catch anything out of this filter Alright, so I got the filter off. I just put it in there. It is a bit messy, so you, your hands do get covered in uh, oil. So if you don't like that, put some gloves on. I really don't care too much. So while that's finishing up, we're going to prep this filter. This is pretty uh, simple. Just put it in like that. Open up your oil. Get some fresh oil, and then put it right around the seal. This will ensure that it seals properly. Make sure to put lots of oil on it. Just like so. Now we're going to put that in. So here's the new filter. All I do is put it on hand tight. So whatever I can put it on that. <clears throat> That's pretty good right there. Perfect. I've already tightened this up. I don't know the torque spec. I just put it till it's pretty snug so that's it for down here all right so the last thing to do is just fill it up now I believe this engine takes four and a half liters so a big jug like this is five liters so there should be a little bit left over so we just want to get it I want to get it brought up enough that I can read it on the stick because it's not uh, it's not balanced I got it on ramps so once I got enough to the shows on there, I'll take it down, balance it, and then I'll top it up again. Plus I need to let uh, the oil filter fill up. That's about half now. So keep going. There. It's about three quarters. We'll see where we're at.
Plus there's still gonna be a little bit of oil left in it. You're not gonna get it drained perfectly. So you can see it's just at the bottom right there. So I want it to be right there. That should be pretty good. Now you can see it's almost there. This would be safe. Like I say, there's enough oil in it now to pick up and go through the engine. It'll probably go down below that mark. I'll put a tiny bit in more just to be safe. There we go. So now you can see right on that dot. So that's perfect. Now, like I say, once the oil filter fills up and it circulates through the engine, we won't have to worry about it losing pressure. All right, so now that we let the engine uh, start up, we let the oil circulate, the oil filter should be full, and she's back on level ground. We will check it one more time, and then we will top up as needed. So, little tiny bit came off of the full mark, not a lot. So we will add just a little splash of oil. be a bit slower at this because I don't want to overfill it. Okay, a little bit more. That should probably do it. And there we go, right on the full mark. Anyways, that does it for today's video. I hope uh, it helps somebody out. Like I said, this is a very easy thing to do. Uh, a lot of people start with oil changes on their vehicles. So pretty well, anybody can do it. As long as you, you know, you got a socket set and oil wrench. Pretty straightforward stuff. So hopefully it helps somebody out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, comment, like, and subscribe. And as always, thank you for viewing.